All that you can see here behind me in this clearing is a giant nest of leafcutter ants. There are hundreds of entry and exit holes all over this mound. Below the surface here is a catacomb of maze-like pathways that are home to this leafcutter ant colony. Now this colony will be made up of different size ants. Some of them are small workers. And then of course at the other end of the spectrum are large soldier ants. Those are the ones we are after because today we are officially going to rank the leafcutter ant on the Brave Wilderness Bite Sting Index, the BSI. The BSI is our official ranking index for all insect and arachnid bites and stings. The rankings are made by testing three factors, intimidation, pain, and aftermath, all of which are combined for a total score you will find out at the end of this video. I have been bitten by these ants before, and I can tell you that I have yet to encounter another insect of this size with this powerful of a bite. This one could rack up a heck of a score. But before we actually get bitten, we have to find a soldier ant. You can see here, look at this. There's a lot of leaf scraps that have been dropped by these ants. They're literally going out into the jungle, cutting the leaves, harvesting them, and then bringing them back here where they will grow a fungus that makes their food. But that is not the job of the soldier ant. The soldier ant has one job, defend the nest at all costs and that's why they have the biggest and strongest jaws. Now, in order to find a soldier ant, all we have to do is make a little bit of disruption or vibration near the openings. It's almost like knocking on the door. Anybody home? We're looking for someone to give me a chomp and they will defend this nest with their lives. There's pretty much no stopping the will of a soldier leafcutter ant. So I'm just gonna go around here agitate the ground. This looks like a good hole. And with enough tries, we should see some of these soldiers show themselves in defense of the colony. Oh, right there. Get your cameras right there, guys. Look at that. Huge. Wow. That hole just exploded with soldier leafcutter ants. Look at that. Okay, it's time to get some. You guys ready? There's no good way to do this. You just got to get in. Grab the ants. Here we go. Okay. Oh, they're already on my boots. Oh, they're swarming. They're swarming. They're all over me already. These ants are crazy how fast and elusive they can be. All right, I'm doing it to hit the ground some more. Get some more big ones out. Come on, boys. Let's go. Right there. Got one. Yeah. That's a good one. Oh, it's a beast. I got two. Got two so far. Here we go. Here's a big boy. Oh, that one's huge. Ah, he's biting me. Oh, he's got me. Ah, ah. Oh, no, not yet, not yet. Ah. Mm, I already got nailed. All right, come on. All right, we got, we got three so far. Three so far. All right, let me, uh, oh, there's a big one. There's a big one. Come here, come here. Oh, oh I think the little ones bite. Okay, all right, I've got four, four ants. One more. Let's, let's try to get out some more bigger ones. Here we go. Come on, where are you? Oh man, they are all over my boots. Look at this. Look at this, get a shot of that. They are just attacking me. Here, let's get away from this ant. Wow, guys, we're getting swarmed. We are getting swarmed. Holy crap. Okay, okay. All right, let me, let's, oh man, they are so strong. They're hard to get off your boots. Look at that one. Get out of here. Okay. They're all over my shoelaces. These are all over my boot laces. Okay, guys, check your pants. Oh, you got one on your shoe. Oh, 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 jeez. Ow! Mmm, yeah. Just got nipped. Little precursor to what's coming next. Uh, and in case you're wondering, yes, these ants are absolutely capable of breaking skin and drawing blood. Ah, he's got me! Ah, that one's already got me. Ah, no, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. Ah. Ooh, all right. Dang. Mm. We gotta get out of here. They're all over the boots. All right, well, ah, all right. Hang on. 
All right, that's five. That's the fifth one. That one nailed me. Dang, that got me good. Mm. Oh, man, oh my gosh, all right, guys. We're getting swarmed. We gotta get out of here. All right, let's go. Mm. Man, I'm bleeding. All right. Oh my gosh. Whoo! That always gets your heart racing, trying to catch these soldiers. Look how big they are. Those are some seriously, seriously aggressive ants. When they storm out of their nest, there's only one mission, attack. Ah, I'm just getting nailed on the ear. I just got hit on the ear. Ah! Whew. Gosh, can never catch soldier ants like these without taking a few bites in the process. But, oh, you got one on your boots right there. Right, right on your boot, right, right there. Man, those leaf cutter ants, these soldiers barnstormed out of that entry point and they meant only one thing, inflict as much pain as possible on all these intruders. And they sure got us a few times. But in the end, we got five really good size soldier ants. And one of these will officially be the ant that I let bite me so we can rank the jaws of the Costa Rican rainforest for the Brave Wilderness Bite Sting Index. Let's go set up our bite table. No joke, I've literally found these ants chomped onto my clothing months after our trips to Costa Rica. They make it all the way back on the airplane and through the washing machine because once they bite, they don't let go. All right, bite table set. We have our soldier ants. We've got a set of entomology forceps. Before we get into this, we're going to need to tape up my finger because that ant back there annihilated me. His finger keeps just bleeding all over me. We've got ourselves five soldier ants that we are going to try to pick the biggest one to be the official ambassador for the bite sting index of the leafcutter ant. What do you guys think? I think maybe this one. Oh, there's a big one. I think right here in the front? Yeah, I think that's the one. Ah, man, the other ones are great. There it is, there it is, there's the one. That's the one. Oh, man. All right, there we have our end. Get a better grip on it. Scraping it in. There. Look at the size of the jaws of that ant. These ants do not sting, they only bite. Some ants both bite and sting. The leafcutter ant is just a bite, but I could tell you no other ant I have ever encountered in the entire world after 10 years of traveling, making content for Brave Wilderness, have I encountered any ant that can bite nearly with the strength of the leafcutter ant. I mean, there's not even a close second. And the reason for that is look at the size of the head of that ant. And not only is the bite strong, the bite is also sharp. They are like a set of busher knives shearing together to chop away and anything they can grab onto. And as for intimidation factor, I would have to say for ants, this intimidation is very high. This ant is gonna get a very good score right out of the gate. I gotta go through it again. Gosh, dang it, I am not looking forward to this. I know exactly what I'm in for. Ah, this is gonna, this is gonna suck. <laughs> this is gonna suck really bad. Okay, yeah, and get this. When these ants bite, you either have to pry them off or just wait until they let go. So this isn't like a one chomp and then we're done. I'm gonna leave the ant on to gnaw away until it walks off. Cause if not, I'm gonna have to pry it off and that could do even more damage. In fact, indigenous cultures used to use these insects as sutures where they would take the ants, let them bite and then rip the head off. Because once the ant is locked down, it has to choose to release. If it can't choose to release, it stays on there. So yeah, we're just gonna let the ant do its thing and chop away until it feels like it's done the damage it can do. And I have a feeling it's gonna be pretty serious damage. All right, you guys ready? Like I've done enough talking. I wanna get this over with. It's time to put the soldier leaf cutter ant on the bite sting index on three. Ready? I'm gonna put it right there. One, 
Oh man, I can, I can sense it just wants to chop away. It wants to gnaw onto me. It's gonna slice through. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it. All right, I don't, I dropped it. All right, let me get it back, let me get it back. Don't lose it, don't lose it, don't lose it. Don't get bit yet. I know. I'm mean, getting lightheaded a little bit because I know it's coming my way. You guys are wondering if I'm getting used to this by now. Yeah, I know what it's like to get bit and stung by a lot of stuff, but every single time I do this, there's like a wave of anxiety and adrenaline, and I'm just, I'm feeling the nerves, and I'm about to feel the chomp. Here we go, on three. One, two, and three. All right, it's not good. Man, I'm getting lightheaded. Hang on, hang on a second. Oh. Whoa. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. All right, I got this. It's on three. One, two, three. Ah, yeah, he's got me. Ah. Yeah, I just popped through. It feels like it's cutting my finger off. Ah. 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 In case you're wondering if I was faking that at all, I probably have to blur that out because that is a lot of blood. I'd say that was a good test. I don't know how much better of a test that we can do here. I'm gonna clean off our hand here because he's covered in blood. Hang on a second. Look at that. Look at that. There's another demonstration of strength, like we need another one, but this ant. So powerful. Get off there, bud. Well, I'd say we have ourselves a pretty good official bite test with the leaf cutter ant. Man, I hope that's the last time I have to do that. Tell me in the comments what else you want to see on the BSI. But before we go, let's give the leaf cutter ant an official score. For intimidation, the speed at which these ants move and the numbers by which they swarm, and just the general sheer size of their razor sharp jaws are as impressive as they are terrifying. So I give the leafcutter ant a 7.5 out of 10 for intimidation, which is big for an ant. And on that note, I have to acknowledge that we've received some feedback that intimidation as part of the index is too subjective and that we shouldn't weigh it in as much as the other factors. Guys, I have to completely disagree with that because I can tell you, once you see what's biting you, or in my case, what's about to bite you, your emotions are triggered and it absolutely affects the pain you're about to experience. So yes, size matters and so does intimidation. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Okay, now back to the score. For pain, well, I have yet to react to any test as much as I have the leaf cutter in. So for immediate pain, I have to give it a 9.5 out of 10. And yes, that score surprises even me to say it out loud. But I mean, come on, look at this. Ah. Finally, for aftermath, this is where the leafcutter ant does offer a little relief. Although very painful at first, the wounds end up feeling like super deep paper cuts and almost immediately subside. So just as long as you clean them out right away, you should have very little inflammation or chance of infection afterward. So for that, I only give the aftermath of the leafcutter ant a 3.5 out of 10, giving the soldier leafcutter ant an official BSI ranking of a 6.8. All that to say, ouch, but yes, venom matters big time on this index. And without it, you just can't hang with the big dogs.